Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you guys a brief update of what's been going on. Um, we're in the last day of Trinidad and Tobago, working with the ministry, and it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. We've uh, done a lot of radio appearances, have done interviews, have done countless meet and greets with different people, different organizations, and just having an awesome time doing the work with the ministry of people, social development, and all their projects for the health and wellness fair. I came out here to be their ambassador, their social motivator. I received the first certificate from the ministry to be that and fit that role, which is to help all of their initiatives going forward with physically challenged and people that are differently abled, which spans uh, many different projects, many different organizations. So being that ambassador role is truly, truly a blessing that I'm forever, forever grateful to have. <sighs> mixed reviews, mixed uh, emotions of being out here. Uh, I was just here two weeks ago and I didn't realize that I'd be coming out here um, right now for this whole week. And, you know, I, I don't even know how to put it into words. I can just put it into feelings, right? And the feelings that I'm feeling is feel a sense of victory, I feel a sense of admiration and humility and just just humbleness and just feeling just so, so, so at peace with what I'm doing here. You know, and I, and I say that because those feelings are stemming from a long, long, long time ago when I used to come here uh, when I was a lot younger, <laughs> not that I'm very old. But I used to come here and it used to be a totally different mindset, um, a totally different way of accepting people with a, that look different, that have to do things a little different. So for me, it was hard for people to accept me the way I am coming into this country and I've, I've, had to, I've endured a lot of hardship from that. I've endured a lot of crying, a lot of tears, a lot of change that have been binding me up because strong presence with your family out here and with just people in general interaction so close-knit that you know it's uh, it's hard it's hard to take that you think that you'd be accepted right but you know not everyone feels the same way not everyone sees you as a person sorry about the dog but um, I'm filming this uh, um, in my uh, my aunt's uh, house so not every, not every day, not everyone accepts you as a person. And it's, you know, it's important to, to feel accepted and to feel loved and to feel like you belong somewhere. And for a long time I fought with that and I, and I had to carry that with many, many years of, of feeling inadequate, feeling like I'm not good enough. And to have that restoration and have that victory take place this week, not even this week, but just what we did last year with No Excuses and all the nonprofits and all the volunteers and what we did at, at To Live Your Best Life Now, To Live Amazingly Tour two weeks ago when I came out here and now to follow up again with the ministry and the government and to really, really drive home everything that I've been dreaming about, that I've been wishing for, that I've been praying about, that I've been wanting to have acceptance, to feel love, to feel like I am somebody and I can do anything and I would have the same privileges and the same acceptance into society you know I, I wanted that for myself so much and I've endured so much and I have to overcome so much and to know that I could come back in this ambassador role as a social motivator it's been the, the I guess the blessings that are beyond I can never I can't even imagine it you know and and, and to help thousands and thousands of people to be in a position to help these people so they don't have to go through that or they, they that, that it could be stopped that, they, that, 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 that the life that they're living and their beliefs can now change and that they can hope for more that they can believe in more that they can come outside of their walls and feel accepted you know that they don't have to live behind closed doors and feel like they have to hide themselves 
that is that is powerful and that is that's why these emotions that I'm feeling is just just makes me feel like there's so much that needs to be done and that I'm on the path of where I need to be so Trinidad this is the last day and I, I, I I'm almost I'm very sad that I'm leaving but I'm, I'm also very happy that that we were able to accomplish so much in such a short period of time and I've forged a lot of huge huge relationships and moving forward we'll continue to push forward with a lot of projects that are coming down the road um, and with the new projects that we're uh, doing for 2014. So I know this will not be the last time I'll be out here this year. We're going to be working on some more stuff for the Carson Jail for the Persons with Disabilities Complex that is coming online. And uh, the, the foundation out here is working hard to make sure we collaborate and we're a part of that. And also the foundation in, in Orlando, the headquarters, is, is really working hard to to collaborate that and pull all these pieces together so we can leave a good legacy and we can live free, live amazingly. I mean, that's that's the goal for not just for people with disabilities but for people in general, you know, to live free and live amazingly. Live free from fear, live free from, from, from being inadequate, from not loving ourselves, to shame and forgiveness, to live free from all those chains and bondages that we hold inside of us. So I'm really excited about 2013 started off kind of shaky, but God has restored it a thousand times more. I knew He would. Went through some serious, serious trials, but you have to go through something in order to receive something. And that's the only reason why I wish I stand here today and to be in this role. So, with that, I'm going to get something to eat. So, if you live amazingly, I'll see you guys out there.